What kind of foods do I like to bring on my backpacking and camping trips? Let's find out. How's it going backpackers and campers? My name is Dave and this channel is called Off Grid. And on this channel, I like to talk about all things of backpacking, hiking, camping, and gear. If you like those things too, do me a favor and look at that subscribe button down below and that bell notification right next to it so that you can be aware every single time I drop a new video. So I wanna go over what I eat and what I take with me when I'm in the backcountry. And um, it might come as a surprise to some of you or people who aren't familiar with my eating habits because I don't think I've ever mentioned it on this channel before and I like to follow more of the low carb and keto style of eating and um, you know I'm not, I don't really profess to be keto I think it's insanely hard to not only get into ketosis but also stay in it so today I'm just going to be uh, talking about my uh, food choices when I head out into the backcountry or when I'm going car camping but normally I'm sticking more towards just um, the low carb realm so today I'm gonna be rifling through everything from meals and snacks and drinks and some other options um, today and I'm really just going to be sticking to the options themselves and uh, I'm not going to be getting into any of the more specifics about them like the micros and macros and things like that um, I might get into that and I probably will get into that in a different video so be on the lookout for that and again if you're not subscribed and something like that interests you think about subscribing if you're interested in uh, me covering that topic in the future but uh, today I'm just gonna be talking about my choices. Now there are uh, a couple of different ways that you can go about being low carb. There's, you might, you might have heard of a term called dirty keto, which I'm gonna mention with one of the products that I'm talking about. But all the other products have clean ingredients. They're great choices to um, go to and use when you're in the back country and particularly if you wanna stay low carb. So let's get right into the list right now. And I'm gonna start off with the drinks because Maybe you don't find that as interesting. I like drinks, but let's just go through those real quickly. And I really just have most of them in um, one like Ziploc bag. I took it out for this video, but I got it all right here. Let me just kind of like lay it out in front here. I punched the video a little bit further out than what I usually do for you guys so that I can kind of display things out and show you as I'm talking about them. Uh, the first thing that I just kind of saw and grabbed here is going to be um, a water flavor enhancer. It's not going to give you any sort of electrolytes or things like that, but it's just going to give you a different option to choose to mix things up if you don't want to stick with the standard boring water. And um, this is sort of like if you ever saw like Mio or or any of the other liquids this is called stir and um, you know this is a great brand I love the uh, strawberry watermelon but they have a bunch of different varieties of flavors tropical flavors berry flavors normally like fruit style flavors uh, but it tastes great you just uh, mix a little bit in there um, depending on how strong you want it and that's a great option uh, let's see what else do I have here let's get right over into the electrolytes now and there are I think a few different options that you can choose from uh, but ultimately what you're going to want to stay away from is natural sugars right so I got a variety pack of these kind of like individual packets from a brand called Ultima and um, you know I got grape here I got orange just got a little variety pack and again it's the same size that you dump one of these into you rip it open pack out your trash don't forget to leave no trace guys but you rip the top open you pour it into your water bottle you shake it up and uh, you've got some great electrolytes when you're on the trail these are zero calorie they're not like the tailwind if you ever heard of tailwind um, they have a bunch of calories in them which means that they have a bunch of sugar in them these have no sugar in them um, all natural sweeteners and things like that so uh, great to replenish um, what you lose out on the trail so that's a great option and then these other ones that I have here are kind of like for hot drinks I've got a, a couple of tea bags these are just from Twinings uh, you can do Lipton I like to do um, decaf if I can but you know if you're particularly in need of caffeine in the morning you can do that again I'm a tea guy I don't like coffee but uh, coffee is pretty safe too whether or not you want to bring in your own French press um, and and do it up you know really big or if you just want to go with the instant granules or uh, you know something else uh, coffee is a great option I have here a little MSR shaker too that I filled up with an all-natural like powdered creamer because I like to have some sort of creamer not only for the tea but also for um, some hot cocoa so I actually do like to bring hot chocolate and drink it on a cold night I think it's awesome I actually put it in my own little jewelry bags here 
And uh, basically what this is, is it's just um, cocoa powder and um, I probably could mix in my own sweetener here, but I end up having the sweetener kind of on the side here. But I just got these like two by two jewelry bags. Yes, it's a little bit wasteful, but it's really hard to find single serve chocolate packets that are also low carb or keto. So I just ended up throwing it in there by myself. And then I bring these uh, packets of Truvia with me and uh, I like the Truvia brand. Uh, I think it's pretty good. I've been using it for quite a while. It's a Stevia leaf and erythritol mix. So I bring a bunch of these packets too. Um, and again, remember to, to pack out your trash. So I think that is pretty much going to do it. Yep, for the liquids, kind of hard to bring anything else like sodas or uh, other fruit juices and things like that. So that's why I kind of bring like the stir liquid. But let's head on over to the uh, meal category now and I'll end with the snacks. So for meals, I actually don't own two of these brands. I'm really excited to try them out, but like a doofus, I ended up going with the Mountain House Meals to start off with. Got a big box from Costco through a friend because he had a membership and I got a good deal on it. So I'm still trying to eat my way through those. They're not good for you. I wouldn't recommend those on the trail, but they do have a high calorie count of calories are kind of what you're going for. But um, the two that I'm gonna recommend and I'll throw it up on screen here are going to be uh, Packet Gourmet and also Next Mile Meals. They have some really great options that you can choose from. Next Mile Meals, their entire line is low carb and keto. So you can choose whatever you want from their site. Um, I'm not affiliated with any of these products here today. I have to mention that right off the bat, but Next Mile Meals, I'm really excited to try out. And uh, Packet Gourmet, you kind of have to watch. Like some of them are more low carb and they have great options, um, but they also have your more standard options too. So um, you kind of just have to look for more of the low carb and keto options there. Um, the uh, next thing that I'm gonna talk about that I don't have in front of me either, I actually have a decent number of products just kind of like laid out in front of the camera here, but uh, another one that I don't have is by High Key. High Key has been exploding in the low carb space uh, lately in keto space and uh, one of the things I'm gonna recommend for a more cold breakfast is going to be the High Key Breakfast Biscuits. Um, they have a couple of different varieties. I think they have like a mixed berry and a banana like nut bread kind of flavor and they're okay. I've had them before um, and they're not like amazing, but they're really good for backpacking, especially if you're kind of like on the go in the morning, you don't have time to, you know, uh, boil up your water for a freeze dried meal or whatever. So, um, you know, that could be a great option for you. The breakfast biscuit by High Key. Um, if you end up bringing a skillet, you want to make it a little bit more um, challenging for yourselves when you're out there, particularly backpacking. Usually when you're car camping, you bring it anyway. But if you want to uh, bring a skillet with you in the backcountry and you want to condense certain things down like a syrup, um, you can do that as well. And you can do uh, a pancake mix here too. Um, so I actually have a couple of different uh, syrups for you guys to take a look at here. This one is a newer one that I've just tried out by So Nourished. Um, it's a little bit more liquidy as you can see, um, but the flavor is amazing on this one. And then the other one is by Chalk Zero. So this is more of like a uh, Aunt Jemima, um, which I think got rebranded. It's not Aunt Jemima anymore, or uh, Mrs. Butter Buttersworth. Um, it's got that thicker viscosity to it. Both of these can be stored at room temperature and they don't need to be refrigerated, which is great for the backcountry. But the big challenge that you have to do here is find a smaller bottle to you know, condense these down so you're not packing out this huge weight. And then to put that syrup on top of, what I have is um, a simple pancake like instant mix. This is by Birch Benders and this is their keto bag. And um, literally all that you do is like a complete mix. You just add water, like cold water to this in a little bowl. You mix it up and um, it's, it's ready to go. It's kind of like the instant mix that you're used to um, uh, growing up and as a kid. Uh, the, this is great. I actually eat this at home all the time too with these syrups. So um, this is another great option um, if you bring a skillet and you can condense these syrups down. Great options to bring for breakfast 
Um, they're not gonna give you a huge calorie count either. I like to have a little bit more protein, but if you wanna mix it up a little bit, these are some great options for that. All right, another one that I don't have here in front of me today, and I'm still kinda like testing out, but I definitely would recommend it would be uh, some sort of uh, low carb keto wrap. And I'm going to uh, throw up the uh, almond flour variety on screen right now of what I'm going to recommend. But I actually haven't got it yet and um, I can't 100% fully recommend it because I haven't tried it yet. But I've been trying to search in local stores for it, haven't really been able to find a really great uh, option from an ingredient label list to recommend to you guys. But this one online um, you can get from Amazon and I think would work really well in the backcountry. And kind of going along with the uh, tortillas and the wraps and things like that for the first day and I'm gonna be going on a trip uh, pretty soon here um, so uh, I'm gonna end up bringing something like this and um, I wouldn't recommend it for a multi-day trip but especially for like the first day or the next day you can bring something like this this is the uh, base culture bread if you guys haven't heard about this yet if you have a uh, sprouts or a local specialty store near you. Um, you might have seen these. Um, it's a little bit on the pricier side, but if you are a low carb and keto, you know that trying to find a decent bread alternative is insanely hard. So basically what this is, is sliced bread. Um, so, uh, you know, like I said, particularly if you're going out for the first day or whatnot, you can end up making your own sandwich and bringing a sandwich, and this is a great option for that. For two slices of bread, it's only like uh, eight net carbs. And I know I said I wasn't getting into the specifics, but I just did a little sneak peek for you. Um, and the bread is pretty good. Um, is it a, a perfect option? No, by any means, but um, you know, it gets the job done, which is basically a vessel for your meats, your cheeses, your peanut butter and jelly, um, things like that. So if you haven't heard of base culture, definitely check them out. So kind of going along with that, um, and I don't, you can have it in the snack category as well, but if you're not familiar already, they sell a, a lot of these uh, almond butter, peanut butter, uh, cashew butter, there's a ton of different nut butters that they're selling in individual packets now, and a lot of them are uh, pretty great from a low carb perspective too, like one of these, uh, this is a, a little bit over an ounce has about 200 calories and um, you know only has a, a few net carbs. This one is by Justin's. Um, I also end up getting ones from you know RX and there's a few other. I mean there's a lot of like great varieties that you can uh, uh, choose from at your local grocery store and they're widely available. What isn't widely available, however, is going to be your jellies. Um, there is one or two that I can recommend, but they don't come in these single serving packet sizes. So if you do want jelly, there is one that I've seen called Split on Amazon, but it's not particularly super low carb there, but it is more natural. I'm not sure if it's organic or not, but if you wanna go more dirty keto, you can also find, uh, I think Smuckers, and the, they have those like individual packets that you find at like diners and restaurants that, um, you can, that you can rock with too and buy on Amazon in a larger variety, but definitely um, more of the dirty keto realm there. Okay, let's move to the next thing. Just trying to push some stuff aside here. Um, if you haven't seen these too, it's another great option that they're doing a lot of now in the um, single serve packet size, and that is going to be your uh, tuna creations, or they have like chicken creations now too, so you can get any other tuna or chicken. This is just by Starkist. Um, super high in protein, like no carbs at all in this. Um, really decent, especially you know if you if you bring in some of the bread or you bring some tortilla wraps, you can make a wrap out of it too, um, or just eat it straight out of the package. Um, it's it's a great option, and these don't need to be refrigerated either. So that's another great option that you can choose from. I'm trying to search through the crowd here and see what else we got here. And the last thing that I have for the meal category is not actually like meals; it's more like a condiment. Um, a lot of times, guys like to end up bringing some sort of sriracha or any other type of condiment to kind of sauce things up a little bit, spice things up, particularly if the freeze-dried meal that you're bringing might not have that much flavor. It's good to kind of just have like a really like a mini bottle of it as a sidecar adjunct option to kind of like jazz up that meal, particularly if you haven't tried it before. Um, it's it's good to, to, to just try to like put something extra on it. So that's going to do it for the meal cat. Category now and the last category that I got for you guys for options is going to be in the snack category I love snacks so I'm excited to get into this one 
first one I'm gonna grab that's just kind of like in my face here is going to be your uh, granola bars or your nut and seed bars. This is a great um, company to choose from. This is called Monk Pack, and I like their maple pecan uh, variety. Um, they have a drizzled variety now that you can choose from, but I wouldn't recommend that for backpacking because whatever they put on top can end up melting. You can still bring it, but it's not gonna be as good of an experience. And then they also have their, um, like sort of like a kind bar knockoff where they have just like a, a nut and seed kind of bar if you're more into that. This is the same thing in uh, just sort of like a smaller variety um, and is a, uh, it's basically still like nuts and seeds but just kind of like in um, a smaller style. So if you like more of a crunch, definitely go for like the nut and seed variety. But I like more of the granola variety here. Um, again, I'm not really getting into prices or anything like that today, but um, definitely check all these things out. Uh, I'll post links in the description below for a bunch of these products here. All right, let's get into another one here that's right off screen. It's going to be um, more of the sweet variety. So I'll do sweet first and then I'll kind of like transition into more of the salty. And let's look at cookies now. Um, you have a couple of different options to choose from. If you like more of an Oreo style knockoff cookie, that's this one right here. This is by Catalina Crunch. Uh, if you haven't heard of these guys, they're they're pretty awesome. I mean, think of the um, the store brand knockoff Oreos, because it's not like as good as Oreos, but it's sort of like the next best things, particularly if you're on a budget style. But these are more expensive, but you know what I mean. Um, it's uh, sort of tastes like an Oreo knockoff. They're pretty decent, and it's a good option. And this one I actually just bought today. Um, and try it out for you guys. You can see a lot of these um, have like the tops ripped off because I actually eat these when I'm at home. This is by Kiss My Keto and uh, these are just their keto chocolate chip cookies. I've been wanting to try these for a little bit. The texture is not amazing on these, but the flavor is not bad. But these would work uh, decently well in the backcountry too. Maybe the chocolate and the chocolate chips might melt a little bit um, when you're out there, particularly if it's hot, but um, I would think that these would pack decently well um, as well. So that's it for your cookie options. Um, let me grab some of the other ones right off screen right now. Ah, all right, these were just like way too far. I'm not Stretch Armstrong, so I couldn't grab them. Um, this, this you might think would be more of a salty option, but they're actually dusted with some of these sweeteners like erythritol and monk fruit and stuff like that. Um, this is by a, um, a company called Keto Farms. I just recently found these guys and um, I've been instantly hooked with their sweeter variety of nuts. They're, they're salty and more savory style ones I'm not really a fan of, but these are phenomenal. This one is a butter toffee peanut and um, the other one that I have here is a maple candied pecan. Um, these are definitely my favorite for sure. Um, these would pack really well too. Now this is definitely um, a, a sweeter style of snack, but you're still getting you know the higher calorie count from the serving size of you know any kind of like nut that you would eat out there as part of like a trail mix or something like that. So these are great options as well. So I'll end it here with um, some of the salty variety or uh, savory variety of um, snacks for you to choose from. One, this is gonna come as no surprise, going to be your beef jerky. I'm not sure how great this would pack out. I think this does end up getting a little moldy, so maybe eat within the first day or two. Uh, but this is Duke's, and I like the, um, the shorty sausages. Um, the only thing they really need to look for for um, you know, any kind of beef jerky is to make sure that they don't have any added nitrates in the ingredient label and it's pretty safe, um, pretty high in the caloric count and uh, a really great option for you to choose from. And then the last two here, I see that I'm going decently high on the, uh, the overall um, time of the video, which is crazy, but uh, I'm trying to move quickly enough here for you at the end. Um, this one here I found recently, and this is the one of the ones that's going to be a little bit more in the realm of dirty keto with uh, one or two of the ingredients that is in here, but I can't find a decent replacement for a chip for you guys to snack on. Uh, Quest is one of the most popular ones. Hilo is trying to make their name in the space, but they're not great options. I've tried them, texturally they're off. Um, 
So the best one that I've been able to find so far has been Pedos. If you haven't heard of this yet, it's a pea protein Cheeto type of knockoff. Comes in cheddar cheese, they have like a spicy variety. Their Zesty Ranch is amazing. Um, this is not one of the lowest in carbs you're gonna find any of the stuff that I'm talking about today, but it is salty and it really is a great trail snack and would work great when you're out in the back country. And the last thing that I have for you guys, there's going to be another uh, type of nut. This is just from pistachios. I like their honey nut variety. Um, it's really good, very tasty, and uh, decently low carb as well. So that's gonna do it. That's gonna be the full roundup that I have for you guys in this video for, uh, I guess it would just be like a round one for keto snacks. When you're out on the trail, you can take some of the snacks when you're going just day hiking, or you can go backpacking, or you can go camping. All of these would work really well when you're out in the back country but I want to hear from you guys down below if you are a low carb eater um, what kind of low carb and or keto options do you guys like to bring on the trail I'd like to hear all about it and uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel again please think about subscribing if you like this video please think about giving it a thumbs up I would greatly appreciate it and again think about hitting that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time I post a new video thanks so much for watching this week guys and remember if you headed off grid make sure you do your research and you make it a safe one. I'll see you on the next one. Uh, this is basically the same thing as a granola bar, just in like a... <laughs> um, sweet nuts. Sweet, sweet nuts.